neighbors, let's have us a Bible study. I got my love letter. I want to try to teach you how to read the Bible. Um, the, Satan uses the Bible too. And he will, will teach you to uh, go against God. Okay? So let's see if we can look at it real quick. Alright? Teaching the Bible. Let's go over here to my concordance, which I have here. And I have lying. And I look down through here and I find my the word the uh verses that I want. Okay? And the one the verses that I want is Isaiah twenty eight and ten. So let's go over here and let's take a look at it. I have Isaiah twenty eight and ten. Okay? Now let's go over here and let's look at the Bible, what it says. I have Isaiah twenty eight and we want to come over here to ten. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. He tells you two different things. And uh, one is for Satan and one is for God. Okay? We have two little dotties here. It says, here a little and there a little. In this book you will find a subject. In this book you'll find a subject. And in this book you will find a subject. And you put them all together and it will be the same subject. But let's go on down because we have the two little dotties. For with slumbering lips and other tongue will he speak to his people. To this people. In other words, he's using the Bible against you to make sure you make it to hell. So let's go on over to 17. Judgment also will I lay to the line. There's my word. And righteousness to the plummet. And the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies. And the water shall overflow the hidden places. Okay, I think that pretty well much makes it plain and clear. Let's go back over here and we want Isaiah 34 and 11. So here we are in Isaiah 34. Let's go on down here to 11. But the coronet and the Britain shall possess it, the owls also, and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out, stretch upon it the line of confusion. There's our word again. And the stone of impetus. Oh, I, I can't say it. They shall call the noble thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all the prince shall be nothing. And the thorns shall come up in her, and nestle and bear, bear, them, bear them in the uh, fortress thereof, and it shall be an inhabitation of dragons in the court of isles. And the wild beast of the desert shall also meet with the wild beast of the island. And the shower sh sh sayer shall cry to his fellow. And stretch owl also shall rest there and find herself a place to rest. There, there shall be great owl make her nest and, and lay and hatch and gather under her shadow. There shall the vesture also be gathered, and every one with her mate. It's hard to read this through here. <laughs> Seek ye out the book of the Lord, and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For her mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit hath gathered them. And he hath cast a lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line, and they shall possess it forever. The, from generation to generation shall they dwell therein. You have God's word in this word, and you have Satan's word in this word. So therefore you need to separate it. They teach you false doctrines like... Um, Christmas, the rapture, speaking in tongues, Easter, and so forth. 
Please get your Bible out and read it in a whole so you can understand. Now let's see what else we need to learn today. Isaiah 59 and 1 through 2. I'm in the book of Isaiah 59 and we want 1 and 2. Behold the, the Lord, uh, behold the Lord's hand is not shortened and it shall not, cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Now either you can use this book for God's will, or you can use it for Satan's will. I hope I'm showing you more things than what I am saying. I'm seeing it, but I don't know how to put it in words. Let's go to Matthew and 24. We are in Matthew... And we want 24. And we're going to read 1 through 5 right here. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came unto him to show him the building of the temple. Now I want you to know this is not God's temple. Remember the Sadducees and the uh, Sadducees and Sa uh, I don't know what that Sa uh, You don't understand what I'm saying. And Jesus said unto them... See not all these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came to him privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be, and what shall the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Alright, I, I want you to know that the Sadducees and all, the heresies, Sadducees, whatever they are, they use this Bible too to uh, make things different. Now let's go on down here to 11. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. They used the book, the Bible, God's Word. They used Jesus Christ to uh, teach the wrong doctrine. Uh, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel... We're talking about both Gospels. The Gospel of Jesus Christ and the Gospel of Satan. Of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And when ye therefore shall see the abomination of destruction spoken by Daniel the prophet, saying unto the holy place, Whom hath an ear let him understand? Let him which would be in the Judah flee into the mountains, and let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Okay. Can you see the two little dotties there? We need to continue. Neither let him which is in the field turn back and take his clothes. We can stop right there, but we can go on. But woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. If you are a young Christian and you don't know what Satan's word against God's word is, then you will be deceived greatly. And I hope that all new Christians, the Jesus Christ believing Christians, will get out their Bible and they will read it. Now, I'm going to stop right here, but it's very important that you read Matthew 24. It will tell you about today's end times. And I hope you can see that what the Word of God says about <coughs> Satan using his Bible. He will use his Word. Now, we got over here and we got the, uh, our Word line. And if you look over here to the side, we have numbers. And our number that we are, that is uh, where we want it at is 6957. So we're going to go back to it in the back. The first of it back here in the back, I want to show you is 
the dictionary, the Hebrew Bible, which is our Bible. And in it will give you the number. You will look at the number. And then you will have your word. The first part of it is the Old Testament. Then you have, back here at the back, the dictionary, the Greek Testament. This is the New Testament. Okay? So let's go see what our word means. And our number was 6957, which is right here. And it says, these right here two words that you see right here, or the or is what it looks like in um, uh, um, Jewish writing. All right, and then it gives you another number here that you can go to, and that is six nine six zero. Well, let's see what this one says. A cord as connecting. All right, I don't know what that word is for measuring. Figure a rule, also a rim. A musical string or a chord line and then it gives you a, a another number that you can go to to check it out but me looking at this right here a musical string or chord you have a musical string let's just say that it is um, uh, um, Jesus Christ we're going to use the music this time we know it is for Satan but we're going to use it for God he makes us sing pretty music so we're going to have pretty singing going on. Or we can use it as a chord to strangle ourselves. Okay? Can you, can you understand where we are coming from here? Oh, YouTubers, I hope I helped you a lot. Remember that our love letter is to us. And it means a lot to God whenever you get it out and you read it. He looks down on you and he says, Oh, my child is reading my word. He, she or he is listening to me. This is where God speaks to you from. And I want God to speak to me every day. And I want to speak to him. And I want him to use me to show you how much he loves you. Well, YouTubers, I'll talk to you later. Bye.